Hello everyone, welcome to Final Power Tutorial. So today's lessons will be on database connection and uh, created data sets. So let's move on to database connection. So we open the designer. Under the server menu, we have the define data connection. So click that. And then we click the plus button, choose GDBC as our connection type. And then we move on to the database selection. And we support all the mainstream database and I'm going to use SQLite database connection as an example. So click that. So now we have to move on to the or in here we have to switch the or to the SQLite database location stored in our computer. So now we test the connection. As you can see, it's already successfully. So we already have the SQLite database stored in the designer. The FR demo is going to be used for future tutorial. So now let's move on to created data sets, session two. So different from database connection, data sets we can use directly on the design menu. So open the designer on the left, we hit the plus button, and this is the place where you have all the options for data sets. And then we're gonna create a DB query, the most commonly used one first. We hit that, and now we move on to select database. So all the database was pre-reconnected connected in section one. And we're gonna use FR demo for example. So we'll click that, and you can see all the data table corresponding to uh, FR demo. So this is a place where it requires you to have the basic knowledge for SQL language typing, and it's pretty easy. And in here, we introduce the idea for a parameter. So basically, parameter is like a keyword, a filter that we created to use for feature searching under the same table we selected. So in here, we're going to use ID as a parameter corresponding to the other table. And then we hit the refresh button, and you can see ID is already stored as a parameter. To test, we hit the preview button, and we just type one of the corresponding ID stored in the other table, and you can see the corresponding data stored. So now we already have our DB query data created. All right, so now let's create another type of common used data set, the embedded data set. Different from DB query, this one allows you to freely design all your data table. So we hit the table design and we hit the add button. So in here we can define the fields, column name and data type. We're gonna use two as example, region and cells. Also for the data type, you can switch from string to many kind like integral, double and dates. Okay, so now let's hit okay. The next step is to add records. We hit the insert rule. As you can see, regions and cells is already showed in the design menu. And uh, you can insert as many rows as you want. Also, you can freely delete all the rows. Still, we're gonna use two as example. New York, and then let's do Washington for another one. So this is where you do all the data entry. Right, we're almost done here. So we hit the OK, and now we already have our DB query stored in the design, also the embedded data. You can see all the data columns. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.